Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, is a wrestler standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing it officially 184 and three quarter pounds. His professional record stands at seven victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway, by way of Sweden, here is Jack the Joker Hermansson! And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner standing six feet even. He weighed in 183 and one quarter pounds. As a professional, in 19 bouts, he has 14 victories. Three defeats with two draws, one no contest. Fighting out of Paris, France, here is Norman Pricey! Once again, referee Mark Goddard with the final instruction. Okay, gentlemen, you both understand the rules. If you listen to me at all times, keep yourself protected. If I say stop, please stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. Final instructions from Mark Goddard. Norman Paresi in the black. Jack Hermanson in the red. Five, five minute rounds for the big gold belt, the Cage Warriors World middleweight title. So much on the line here for these two. And we are underway, the main event. Up Super Saturday, part one. Immediately, Perezzi pumping out that jab. Looking to build on that striking performance last time out. Amanda answering back in kind. Amanda taking the center of the cage here. Bit of a reach advantage for Hermansen. Let's see if he can put it to use. Currently fighting out of Sweden. Originally from Oslo, Norway, was Jack Hermansen. Parisi, of course, finding out of France. A lot of support here for Norman Parisi. There's actually a huge Norman Parisi banner hung over the balcony here at the Kentish Town Forum. Can I just point out that both these guys come from countries where pro MMA, full pro rules MMA is actually illegal? How crazy is that? Oi. Big over Oi. right there from Parisi. We got some, we got some blood on the Parisi. Yeah, Hermanson finding the mark early here. I'll tell you what, Hermanson's doing a real good job of just kind of the parry and suck boom and then do with the counter shots. I think that, that, that kick, I wouldn't be taking too many of those though. I mean, Perezzi's pumping the jab out, but Hermanson's is just that little bit longer and he's meeting him on the way in each time. And very, very close with that knee to Jack Hermanson. Jens, you said it, a bit of blood coming from the nose of Perezzi. It makes me think of what Teddy Atlas said in a boxing match. I was punching from too far out, so by the time when I finished, I was just out I was just out of the range, and then boom, they were piping me and they were hitting me. So that's kind of what he's doing with that jab. He's, he's, not, he's punching, but he's not getting inside. He's not able to do anything to get it out of the way, and he's getting counterpunched repeatedly. Jack Amanson. So he's oh, going to put him on the right here. Big yeah. right hand from Amanson. Crazy shooting for the takedown by way of defense, but shot off by the Norwegian. Such a heavy a long right drive. <laughs> Just nobody there. I mean, we've seen that before from Parisi. When he gets worried, he decides to go all the way in through the eye of the storm and try and grab that takedown. But Hermanson has such good wrestling. He was able to just sprawl that right hip in deep and shrug the Frenchman off. Oh, man, I don't know. But, I mean, I get the heebies because, really, that's a lot of blood that he just wiped all over the back of my neck. I mean, I, I, no, I'm sorry. Even though I'm a fighter, I got to do it. No, he's in a lot of trouble right now. Hermanson is trying to, I think he's, I don't know, is he being too calm? You know what I mean? I know you don't want to... I don't know. It seems like he That's might a long way to go in this fight, yeah. yeah. 25 minutes, five five-minute rounds if they need them. But it was that uppercut that did most of the damage to Parisi, just getting in the flurry and then changing the angle with that uppercut. That kick right there, I don't know how many of them he wants to take. A strong thud on that I, one. He's not showing any signs of it hurting yet, but that's the one thing about those leg kicks. And they're deep. When it does go, it's, it's done. I mean, it's, there's no in-between. Got to watch the right uppercut from Hermanson. He loves that punch. He's landed a couple of times already. He was just about to swing it up right there. That was good head movement from Parisi through the kick. Bob the weave. There it is again. It's staggered Norman Parisi. He had just coughed him with that thing. Hermanson now. Looking to take that back position, rain down punishment. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see him <laughs> look for a choke here. I think we're going to see him try and punish Norman Parisi. 
Crazy getting control of the arms, stopping the onslaught. Yeah, it's just allowing him to slow the pace down a little bit here. But Hermanson's just going to stay behind him, keep these shots coming in. Crazy turning onto his back, looking for another way out of this predicament. Hermanson trying to posture up. perez has got a good deep half guard. We saw it against Leroy Barnes. He was able to use it to sweep and get back to his feet. You can see he's trying to get all the way underneath Hermanson, bury his head in that safe zone. But you can see Hermanson, that right underhook, Not very strong, just it. flattens him back out. He's got to either, you know, I mean, he's got him hurt. He has him wobbled. Either you're going to strike and do cause some damage in here, or let's get him back up before he can recover and see if he can't put him away. Parisi looking to get out of this position now, but he ends up with Hermanson on his back again. Parisi having to turn that back to the mat. Watch for the elbows here from Hermanson. We've seen it time and time again. Parisi still showing the urgency to move, though. Trying to off-balance his opponent. He's Somehow definitely from can't... halfway across the cage, Norman Parisi's blood on our equipment here at the commentary position. He really is Wait, losing what? a lot of blood now no, from his nose. Say that. <laughs> Final 10 seconds, luckily all tonight's fighters are cleared by safe MMA, all blood tested <laughs> and fully medicaled. Good guard pass for Hermanson at the end of this one. Stop, stop. Well, maybe a little bit too cagey and cautious at the end of that round, but boy, has he put Norman Parisi Amazing. on the back foot from the outset. Amazing. And I think Parisi did do a good job, though. He was lifting him, tilting him a little, you know what I mean? He was keeping him from sitting up posturing up and raining down punches. Well, let's take a look at some of that action now. Plenty of it to look back on. Nice overhand right from Norman Parisi to start things off there. Didn't land completely flush, but found a home. No, Parisi did have some very good offense throughout that round, particularly those leg kicks. But the reach of Hermanson was just finding its way through the middle. And it was really that uppercut and this flurry against the cage that started changing the tide of this first Straight round. Right, there was an uppercut there. Crazy push back against the cage. Nice elbow off the break there from Jack Amanson. And there's the uppercut again. Stumbled to the mat after that one. And Hermanson was just all over him. Oh, back, dry him. Come on. The front, the front done. Jack Amanson letting out a little whoop of delight in the center of the cage, ready to start round two. I mean, he's going to carry a lot of motivation, a lot of confidence after that first round. We're going to see what Norman Parisi is made of here, though. The cage door is locked. We are underway. Jack Amanson in the red, Norman Parisi in the black. Main event here of Cage Warriors Super Saturday, part one. Nice leg kick from Parisi with Amanson opening up with the punching combinations. He can't, he can't take the uppercut. Yeah, Amanson throwing in volume. And Parisi just not able to get out of the way. He's getting stuck in that awkward middle ground on the end of Hermanson's punches. See, that ducking down. He ducks down when those punches come right into, I mean, it's almost like he's headbutting that uppercut. That's it, and he's circling every time into that strong right-hand side of Hermanson. See, the way he ducks down, he flinches down like that. He's, and, and he's circling into it. I mean, he's giving this uppercut every single chance to knock his head straight off, off his shoulders. Well, the witch isn't great, but I've got to assume that Jack Hermanson's corner are telling him to set that up over and over again every time it works. I mean, even the shots that are finding the guard have got so There's the liver. Oh, to the body. The liver shot. Left to the liver, right uppercut. And I'm not coaching, I'm just saying. I just couldn't help myself. Perez, though, I mean, what's he got to do? He's got to get moving and stop that clinching. He's dumping himself into that uppercut. He needs to either start shooting takedowns, start clinching. He's got to do something and get away from this hit and miss that he's just getting destroyed in right now. He yeah, finds a good leg kick back, but Hermanson's just putting him on the end of too many of these punches. Oh, big right hand there from Jack Hermanson. Crazy force to shoot for the takedown. And he gets Hermanson on his back. Yeah, I'm impressed. He didn't take his time and try and get, gather his breath. He went straight for the takedown, but you can see immediately Hermanson looking to post that left hand and stand straight up back to his feet. See if Parisi can do anything with this position. Hermanson on his knees, back to his feet. 
turns his way out. Parisi with a short elbow on the break. Not much behind it though. No, that kick kick there. There. Now, I'm telling you, I'm waiting to see if that kick is if he's sobbing him up or not. Well, Jans, I was about to ask you, how can Don Parisi get back into this fight? It could be the leg kick, but the uppercut lands again. The right hand. Jack Hermanson takes the back. A yeah, good awareness to go immediately to the back. You can see he just rode that top position out as Parisi tried to restore guard again, sprawling on his opponent. Just too fast in this top position for Parisi at this stage. Staying very heavy on the top is Jack Hermanson. I mean, it's so much, it's so easy to get that ride time when you're the one in that dominant position, just yeah. floating your weight about. When you're not really committing to any one thing. You know who's real, I mean, I love what I like to do it. Cain Velasquez, straight destroyer when he's on top of somebody. He just kind of floats. DC Cormier did the same thing, out to the side. They don't commit to anything, they just kind of float around to just beat your head up and just pound on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And just stay away from the legs, don't let him lock you up and just spin out towards the head watch, and just start landing shots. Watch for a lot of elbows from Hermanson in this position. Going to create that bit of space. Drop the elbows, drop the hammer fist. Lord, the blood coming from the mouth and nose of Norman Parisi. Hermanson's doing a really good job of sitting his weight back and he's got that right arm the whole time. It's under Parisi's left, stopping Parisi getting any control of the Norwegian's body. Yeah, Big elbow there for Hermanson. Trying to go deep, deep half for Parisi. Now is he going to spin out the back? Oh, his lovely yeah, attempt to the transition. Side mount. So uh, close. He needs an e bar here if he can uh, turn the right way. Shoot it across and go ahead and just get out. Me and this mic sometimes. I'm having an inner battle with my microphone. <laughs> just kidding. I'm really impressed with the uh, the grappling of both guys here. I mean, Parisi looked to go to that deep half. That's a very complex sweep. To do it when you're under that kind of intensity and pressure is impressive enough. But Hermanson managed to ride it out, floats his weight around, and he's really making this top position pay here in this second round. Doing great work from the top, racking up the points. Here is Jack Hermanson. And thus far, in this Cage Warriors middleweight title bout, one-way traffic in favor of the man from Oslo, Norway. And Hermansen's corner saying 10 seconds of pressure. They want to work here to close this round out. Stop. Well, really, a second round just like the first. A lot of strikes for Hermansen landing, an awful lot of damage on Norman Parisi and a lot of top position control as well. You've got to say, definitely two rounds in the bag for the Norwegian. Absolutely, let's take a look at some of the action from that second round. Nice leg kick there from Parisi, but Hermansen going straight back to work with the uppercut, with the punch combinations. The left hook, the uppercut, yeah, all yeah, landing yeah. well for the joker, Jack Hermansen. Nice to see him mix the strikes up there. I think a bit more of that, that uppercut's going to find a home every single time, as Jens alluded to. Norman Parisi is bringing his head down into it as part of his defensive style. Again, more punches landing. Parisi forced a sheet in. Hermansen sprawled on it, and Hermansen now doing work from that top position. Big, big elbow across the jaw, more of a forearm shiver. Jens, what does Norman Parisi have to do here? How can he get back into this you fight know, as we head into the third round? I was round? just sitting there. Keep working with that leg kick. Try not to flinch so much when the punches are being thrown at you. Work on the leg kicks. You're starting to wear this guy out. You have now been beat down. You've been beat as far as you're going to get really beat as far as fatigue and where you're at. He needs to watch his punches, and he needs to just start working and, and try to put, try to slow him down and just kind of... Yeah, I mean, you just got to get Hermanson out of You just got to take it away from him. I'm trying to find the right word to say, but Herman's starting to get tired. The leg kicks are there. Norman's still up on his feet. He's bouncing. It's just he's punching from too far out. He's getting himself in trouble, so he's got to change up his mode of attack. A half punch to that leg kick should be all day. Neither man has had to deal with the issue of going five rounds before. The first time either man's fought for a world title. Five five minute rounds to get through. 
Nice left hook there from Norman Parisi. It's a bit better from Parisi here. He just seems to be mixing it up a bit more, finding his range. As you say, is Manson going to start to get tired? We don't really know what these guys are going to be like over a full five rounds. We've seen both men go 15 minutes on Cage Warriors before in fights that were very high paced. Both men taking and dishing out a lot of damage in those fights. Well, Manson's got his hands locked, but not a takedown in the way I think he intended. Sweaty, couldn't do the salto, couldn't throw it by too much. Just couldn't get him down. And again, now that's a failed attempt. Start to wear on you. Yeah, right it, now, no, he's coming back. It gets tiring having takedown stuffed over and oh, over again. It's, it's one horrible. of the most draining things yeah. in MMA. It's horrible. Failed attempt after failed attempt and have him just stuff you into the face first into the canvas and laugh at you. Look, he's limping. Hermanson's going to be... Look at that leg's going behind. He's not... Parisi needs to realize he's got to keep kicking that leg with that jab. I mean, that was Setting his game, up with the jab. That was his game plan oh, big Lama. shots from Hermanson. So Parisi bobbing and weaving here. Hermanson throwing heavy lever. Parisi trying to get out of dodge. Oh, and yeah. that's swinging. Jack Hermanson unloading here. Parisi taking them on the chin. Parisi just smiled in the middle of that. Big knee to the body from Hermanson. How much has that taken out of him, James? Oh, he's got to take out of both of them right now, but then Perez is the one shooting. I think Hermanson went for broke. I think he's, that was kind of me. He's kind of like, I got to get this away now. I, I think his leg is, he's got to be feeling yeah, those leg kicks. Th there is a long time left in this fight, so perhaps Jack Hermanson has just gone a little bit too hard, a little bit too early, but both guys looking very drained here in this third round. People have in the past questioned the heart of Norman Parisi. I know when he fought Chris Fields on Cage Warriors some time ago, Chris said, I'm going to put it on him, I'm going to break his heart. And Chris said to me after that fight, I guess this guy had a little more heart than we thought. You cannot question the heart of Norman Parisi. He's in this fight very, very much here at Cage Warriors 69. But Hermanson now still trying to throw those big winging punches. He's been dealing with that blood. Rolling down the back of his mouth, down into his... Uh, he's had to deal with that this whole time. And he's still out there fighting, going at it 100%. So, if anybody questioned him before, I wouldn't question him right now. Against Alan Love, it was those leg kicks that really won the fight for Parisi as he eats a couple of shots here from Two Manson. Big right hands from Jack Manson, his corner willing him on. He's holding your hand. But you've got Walking to think at this point, Josh, Somewhere in the back of Hermanson's mind, he's thinking, I've oh, got another 10 minutes to go. Perhaps he doesn't want to step on the gas when, it, when he does see that opening, because he's got to worry about those championship rounds. And you see the hand on the face there, trying to smother Parisi, really disrupt his breathing. That in itself is unpleasant enough as Parisi looks for that double wrist lock on the far arm. But we've already seen in this half guard position, Hermanson can ride out that top control all day long. Parisi staying flat on his back here, not what you particularly want to do in half guard, but you forgive him perhaps, because this has been a breakneck pace for this one. You gotta take a little nap. He's like, we got championship rounds coming. I gotta take a little half nap here. I'm taking a half round nap. I'm gonna try and get, get, some, get my limbs back for uh, rounds four and five. Nice guard <laughs> retention for Norman Parisi there, not letting Hermanson pass at the end. Couple of big elbows coming down from Jack Hermanson. Finishing very strong here. Lots of big shots coming in, but there's the buzzer. And a boy. And it's championship round time. That's how you take a round that might have otherwise been close. Macho time. You start just throwing big shots right at the end. All the judges see that and they go, oh, yeah. All they think about are those last 10 punches. Win. Well, let's take a look at some of the action. The kicks from Norman Parisi. The punches from Jack Hermanson, big punch combinations. Now, Josh, it looked like Hermanson was, uh, it looked like Parisi, forgive me, was getting back into the fight there. But probably the most pivotal moments were these huge punching onslaughts from Jack Hermanson that we're seeing now. Yeah, relentless flurry. I mean, so many of them hit the target. 
but they didn't finish Perezzi. And as we said several times, how is that going to affect Jack Hermanson now? Is he going to be tired? Has he just dumped all that adrenaline and just said, you know what, I'm going to try and finish it? And both psychologically and physically not getting that finish, how is that going to play into his mind as we move into the fourth and fifth championship round here? Uh, Jens, you're a former world champion yourself. What's going through the fighter's mind the first time he has to come out for the fourth round? You know, the biggest thing is you're probably you're looking across, and this is that point where you realize how good a shape you're in. And if you're Hermanson, you're like, I got him melting. It's time to put him away. I've got him beat up. I've got him crushed. He's been bleeding since round one. It's time for me to put him away. On the other side, you praise you just got to, man, it's time to change this. You know what I mean? Again, if I was him, I'd keep picking at that leg because he's changing up his step when he gets hit by it. Stalking his mountain. Again with the big punches. Three, four, five in a row. They're still coming from the Joker. Good movement from Parisi to get out of that tight spot, though. Still firing back himself. Jumping knee to the body. Changing something up. Yeah, but it's one of those techniques that just takes oh, a lot of energy. Big team to the face. And the Manson is turning it up. Oh! Again, we see this from Parisi time and time again. Oh, he's under the chair. He's the back. He's got the rear naked choke. Off no, the side. He's got the squeeze. Oh. gets out. Unbelievable. Too slippery. No control of the body, but very opportunistic from Jack Hermanson. All right. I'm not picking. I'm not. I'm being biased. But if I was Hermanson's coach, now I'm like, oh, big right hand from Parisi. Put that left hand in his liver. Stop trying to hit him in the face. It's not working. Got to throw the body shot. Good head movement from Parisi to avoid those strikes. Jab have the footwork with it though. And again, Jack Hermanson unloading with those big punch combinations. And a beautiful takedown. Mixing it up. Tom As we said. Show control. Show control. And this half guard position has served Hermanson so well throughout this entire fight. Let's see what Perezzi can do here. He's looking to scramble back to his feet. Got to be careful not to give his back, though. And Manson again. One hook. Take the back, gets the hooks in this time. Looking to snake the arm under the throat. And of course, they are sweaty, so sliding the gloves up underneath the chin will be that little bit easier. Hermanson's got to give Perezzi a lot to think about at the neck. That way he's got to worry about up top and he can't think about clearing the hooks that are giving Hermanson control yeah, of his body. Like, go right after the jaw. Put it right across his teeth. You got to do the forearm. Don't go for the choke. Smash his mouth. You can see Hermanson's just got a grip of his bicep, but not able to get under the chin. Perezzi looking to explosively turn into him and good work from Hermanson to turn to the mount. Or the half guard, sorry. Briefly had mount there. Parisi trying to work his way out of this position, not where he wants to be. Hermanson with his hips very high here, but trying to just bear down his upper body pressure. On oh, Parisi again, that right underhook and steps to mount. First time in this fight he's had this kind of very dominant position. You see him get his hips very low, grind into Parisi. Do not want a man with the size and ability of Jack Hermanson on top of you raining down shots. So Perezzi looking to get on his hip, get moving, and it's lovely textbook shrimping from Norman Perezzi to work his hips out of that spot. Shrimping ain't easy, but Perezzi makes it look so. Jack Hermanson going back to work. I mean, Perezzi again. the left hands. Yeah, trying to get that left underhook, trying to go deep on that half guard, but again, Perezzi can go to mount here. Uh, sorry, Hermanson can cut him out. And still punching away big hammer fists from the Joker. Really, that's about all that's... Right now, when you're in He's in four, yeah, four or five. Jack Hermanson dropping shots now. Right up, trying to finish this fight. Jack Hermanson dropping hammer fists. Parisi gives his back. He's not Gator going roll He's going the whole nine. Parisi giving his back to try and create enough space in that explosion. Oh, Absolutely huge shot. Corner, corner for the body triangle. Trying to lock his body. He's got it. 
This is oh, 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 a joke. Oh, what? No, 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 Mark Goddard warning for fingers in the glove there. Jack Hermans has 30 seconds to get this choke. Carry on fighting. Crazy doing everything right and trying to strip that hand. Forearm across the throat here. He can't even use sign the short choke it. Can't do it. Got the choke. He switches to the other arm. This could be it. And that's the submission. We have a new cage warriors world middleweight champion, and his name is Jack. The Joker Hermansen! What a performance from the Norwegian there. Never gave, I mean, Norman Brazy never gave up either, but Jack Hermansen just pressure after pressure. Flurries of strikes, staying in that top position with a lot of dominant control and getting a fantastic submission victory there. Absolutely phenomenal display of guts and fortitude from Norman Brazy and Jack Hermansen. They went at it hell for leather over four rounds. It looked like it might go the distance. Jack Hermanson put the pedal to the metal in that fourth frame. Went to town, dropped the hammer fist, got Parade to give up his back. Josh, let's take a look at some of this action. Hermanson again surging forward with these huge combinations, looking for the elbows as well. Parade staying in there with everything he had. The kicks were starting to work for him, but just perhaps put on the back foot from that very first round. And Josh, as we're seeing in these replays, Jack Hermanson unloaded with absolutely everything in his toolkit against Norman Parisi. He had to work for that one with everything he had. I mean, Parisi defensively was so good on the ground there. He fought off all the attempts and in the end, switching to the rear naked choke on the other side with that body triangle. So much pressure. Norman Parisi forced the tap and give the belt to Jack Hermanson, but <laughs> what a fight that was. What a fight indeed. And here's Joe Martinez to make the crowning of our new Cage Warriors World Middleweight Champion official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes, the official time, four minutes, 49 seconds, round number four. Submission by Rear Naked Choke, your winner and new CWFC Middleweight Champion of the World, Jack the Joker Hermanson! Big win for Jack Hermanson. And joining us in the ring with the belt tonight, we'd like to welcome Miss Hippodrome. Miss Hippodrome 2014 and the lovely Brooklyn joining Jack Hermanson in the cage. 